So, oh, so what was the content? What was what was the <laughs> what actually, was the conversation? Actually, have you dealt with consultants before? Questions. Not as much as and you, I, Commissioner. And I think A police interrogation inside Parliament. Mr. Fuller and I have a collegial, professional relationship. I describe him as a friend, and like I said in May, I consider all current and former commissioners friends. The AFP commissioner defending his contact with former New South Wales Police Commissioner turned PwC partner Mick Fuller after the consulting firm received a $794,000 contract. Mr Fuller and I do not have dinner at each other's homes. We do not play golf together and I don't know the personal details of his life. Text messages obtained by Senator Shoebridge under freedom of information laws detail around a dozen exchanges between Commissioner Kershaw and his former colleague from New South Wales. In February, Mr Fuller messages the Commissioner, what a terrible leak against us and AFP. Then in May, Mr Fuller texts Commissioner Kershaw, just saw news re-referral, we'll give you some space. Commissioner Kershaw responds, OK, thanks mate. That exchange related to the AFP beginning a criminal investigation into former PwC partner Peter John Collins' leaking of confidential tax department information to benefit his clients. As the AFP continues its investigation into the leaking of confidential government tax policy, it's confirmed it no longer has ongoing contracts with the consultancy firm. But under hours of intense questioning, the country's top cop has rubbished suggestions he should have declared a potential conflict of interest. Nicole Hegarty, ABC News, Canberra.